Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I made a video a couple of weeks ago called My Style Intentions for 2024. And one of the main intentions that I made was, I have to put you down, my camera's getting heavy. <laughs> so in that video, I did say my number one intention for 2024 was to embrace the idea of styling over shopping. And one of the ways I want to implement that in shopping my closet is by creating little mini capsule wardrobes. So it is January, it's the first month of 2024, and we're gonna build my very first 10 by 10 mini capsule wardrobe. And if I didn't explain it already, a 10 by 10 mini capsule wardrobe, it's exactly what it sounds like. So it is 10 items that you wear over the next 10 days. Some things that I am not going to be counting in my capsule are things like outerwear. So it is the middle of January now, it is freezing cold out. So things like parkas, scarves, gloves, my snow boots, my hats, my toques, also known as a beanie, things like that that aren't necessarily part of the outfit, I'm not going to be counting. And I'm also not going to be counting anything like athletic wear or lounge wear. So this is gonna be strictly for outfits that I'm going to be wearing throughout the week. The other thing that I'm not going to be counting are things like my everyday accessories. So I wear this necklace stack every single day, it does not come off. I always wear these earrings, I never change them. And lately I've been wearing this ring stack in particular. So some stacker rings from Missouri. So the first thing I'm going to be looking at is the weather. So, oh wow, it's a shitty week this week. <laughs> so it's gonna be pretty cold and snowy all next week over the next couple of weeks actually. I don't have a lot going on in the next two weeks in terms of like events or having to leave the house. It's just gonna be a lot of working from home, going to work, going to the gym, my usual routine. So I feel like that's gonna be fairly reliable. So let's come up with some fits. You know what? I was just thinking, I kind of want to change the rules a little bit. <laughs> and we have a whole year to figure out this game, so, but I'm just thinking. Like, in a 10 by 10, let's think about this. Does a white t-shirt really need to count? I think it does need to count if you never really wear one. But for me, I'm kind of looking at this and I'm like, I have a lot of like really cool tops that I want to wear and like some cool pants and some shoes that I want to incorporate into this. And I don't want to like waste a spot by including a white t-shirt. So I kind of am thinking, I'm like, maybe this is like a given piece. Like maybe this is like a piece that doesn't count because I literally wear it all the time. And of course that's gonna feel within my comfort zone. So I kind of wanna... Versus something like this. This is one of my very first Tibby pieces that I ever bought a couple of years ago now. I don't really ever reach for it because it is it's a statement top. The shoulders are very exaggerated, it's a bit sculptural, and it's something that I would probably honestly just wear on its own when styling, so... But then when I keep the shirt in, then I only have one pair of sneakers that I can wear throughout the whole week because I like to have variety when it comes to blazers. And I don't know. Do you see my dilemma? Do you see my conflict? All right, you know what? We'll just keep it a 10 by 10. We'll stick to the rules. We'll stick to what it's supposed to be, but yeah, fine. We'll just leave it as is. I can see the comments happening, okay? So you win. So one thing I want to utilize in my 10 by 10s is my index app. So by the time this video goes up, my video sharing of how I actually digitally cataloged my wardrobe will be live. This app is just so cool. It's like literally having a clueless closet. So if you guys wanna check it out and download it, it's totally free to use. And the other really cool thing about Index is that I am actually an Index stylist now. So if you have your wardrobe catalog digitally on the app and you need some help styling some outfits, creating new ideas, you can book a lookbook with me and I can help you style 10 different outfits using your own clothes, which I think is so cool and so much fun. But if you're not an Index user, that's totally cool too. You can also book a call with me. I do 30 minute sessions and 60 minute sessions where we can focus on things like decluttering and editing your wardrobe, or if you have some pieces that you're not sure how to style or just need some help discovering your personal style and sort of honing that down. And I've gotten to meet you guys through a lot of these calls already and it is just so much fun. It's just a really cool way to be able to connect with you guys and I love it. So 
So a really cool thing about this is that like you can create outfits using what's digitized in your wardrobe. So you can make little capsule collections in the app, which I'm going to do for this and all of my capsules. So if I do end up choosing pieces that haven't been cataloged on index, I'm going to do that and put them into my wardrobe on the app and then build some outfits, which I have spent hours doing since I got the app. It is so much fun. Uh, it's like almost a little bit therapeutic in a way. And it's just a really cool way to see the, how many outfits you can come up with using just your own clothes. And it feels like you're shopping in a way, but you're not because you're shopping your own closet. So it's just like an amazing literal way to do it. I love it. All right, let's go. There's the capsule. So one tip that you can think about that I just kind of started thinking about as I put this little capsule together is to build it based off of your three words. If you wanna know a little bit more about finding your three style words and how it can help you build outfits and even shop better, Alyssa Cena and I did a whole podcast episode about that, so I'll make sure to leave that link for you. If you're having some trouble finding your style words, there's also a really handy quiz on Index that can help you, and that's how I discovered what mine were, and I feel like it's really accurate, so definitely check it out. It's totally free. I don't mean to plug index so much in this video, but at the same time, they're awesome. So duh. So I always thought of my style words as chill, modern, classic with an edgy modifier. And I would still say that is true, but in my day to day, my three words are definitely classic, minimalist, and sporty. And sporty was one that I never really thought about that kind of surprised me. But the more I actually looked at my outfits and like looked at what was in my wardrobe and even a lot of outfit selfies that I've taken, sporty is definitely a through line. Maybe that is because now I am like a gym girly these days, getting strong, okay? So I think your three words, if you're having trouble finding them, let it kind of come naturally. Think about what comes naturally to you because I think it's just gonna, it's already there in front of you. But then when you're a little bit more conscious of it, I think it can help create outfits and just give you a little bit more guidance when putting things together in your closet. So since this is my first 10 by 10, I kind of wanted to ease into it. And I also realized that we can do multiple 10 by 10s in a month if we really want to, if I find that a lot of my pieces are not getting the wear that I expected them to in these challenges because 10 days is a big chunk of your month. So I might try like seven by sevens or do 10 items over a week even. We'll see how this evolves over time because the goal of this is again, styling over shopping and ultimately to get more wear out of the lesser worn pieces in my wardrobe. So this is really just a jumping off point where we're getting started. It's definitely going to evolve as we go and as we learn throughout the year. So let's all just keep that in mind, especially if you're going to be doing these with me. Okay, look, every capsule I'm ever going to start is probably going to include a white t-shirt. This one is my favorite one. It is the Little High, Little Low Mercury Tea. This to me has the perfect amount of relaxation. It's not too oversized. It's cropped, but not too, so you can actually tuck it in. And to me, it's just like the literal perfect white t-shirt. This sweater is new to my wardrobe that I thrifted off of Poshmark for like $25. It is a vintage Hudson's Bay 100% cashmere sweater. It says it's in a size large. I mean, it's decently oversized. It still fits really well, but look at that tag. Look at that delicious vintage tag, vintage Hudson's Bay, baby. A lot of my other navies that I have in my wardrobe are almost like a black navy. This is a more of a blue tone navy. And there's a lot of neutrals in this wardrobe and I think it's just gonna pair really well, even with this blue. Like my whole video on color combination should be out by now. So this is a nice ring three combined with ring two. It, it still works. Next, I decided to add this bodysuit from Aritzia. This is the Babaton contour bodysuit. Out of all the things Aritzia does, I feel like they do their contour range really well. In my opinion, they're quite flattering and they have a bunch of different necklines and cuts. So depending on if you have a bigger chest or other things you want to accentuate, I think there's kind of something for everybody there. But for me, this bodysuit really is a way for me to incorporate the slim element when it comes to dressing for proportions. I'm gonna do a whole video on it, but there is a principle of getting dressed created by Amy Smilovic, the founder of Tibby, that's called Big Slim Skin. And 
This way it really eliminates the whole dressing for your body shape and if you're a pear or an apple, a carrot, like all that, whatever. I find that can get really confusing and a little bit convoluted sometimes. If it helps you, I think that's amazing. But for me, I wanna keep it a little bit more simple than that. So all it is is a principle to create balance in your wardrobe where you can combine a bigger element, so something a little bit more oversized, chunky, wide leg, loose fitting, whatever. Combine it with something slim, so something more close to the body, like a tank top, it could be a narrow shoe, a more fitted dress, a slimmer skirt, and then balancing all that out with skin. So for example, if you're wearing like an oversized blazer and it feels like it's swallowing you whole, that's when you can push up the sleeves. Or maybe that's where you show a little bit of ankle. This is kind of slim and skin where it's a bodysuit, so it's really nice and contouring to the body, but we've got a lot of skin going on front and back to just keep everything balanced. Especially because I love to wear a lot of my clothes oversized. It's like a really handy trick just to feel that you're not like swimming in your outfit. I might be doing a lot of laundry because I just have that t-shirt there. We'll see how this goes in real time. This is kind of why I was debating including the t-shirt because I feel like it's such a staple layering piece, especially in the winter time. You're gonna get sweaty, you need to create a barrier between you and your sweaters and your cashmere so it doesn't smell. Um, either that or I included too many pants. But we're gonna see how this evolves during the week. One thing I thought was missing from my wardrobe was a dark indigo pair of jeans because I feel like that is a really nice way to dress up an otherwise more casual outfit. So that's why I ended up getting these in my wardrobe last year. I've worn them so much since I got them. They're the Tibby Brancusi jeans. At this time, they are on sale, which is really cool because they were a fundamental and I feel like fundamentals really never go on sale at Tibby. So if they're still available, you can probably get a really excellent deal on them. But these are just so cool and chic. They're kind of a balloon pant, but not at the same time. They just have a really interesting sculptural feel to them. It does make the shoe a little bit more difficult. I don't know what the Samba is gonna look like with these, to be honest. I didn't really think about that when I included this in my 10 by 10. It might not look that great. A slimmer shoe it tends to work better with the, with the Brancusi jeans. So, I mean, we'll see what it looks like. Next, I included this black pair of, they're essentially track pants. They're like a wide leg pair of track pants. So if I'm working from home or even just wanna feel a little bit more laid back at work, these I think are great because yes, they're a track pant, but they're a nice basic black and they're also a nice wide leg. They have a drawstring, but it's hidden. And I feel like that makes all the difference when you wanna wear a sweat pant a little bit more formally. So because there was a lot of black pants going on in this 10 by 10, I decided to include this pair of charcoal wide leg trousers from Durf Avenue. These are great, I've had them for a few years. I wear them all the time. It's gonna be cold out, so I'm definitely gonna to have to throw some leggings on under these because they are on a bit more on the breezy side, I would say. Definitely not warm enough on their own. That's gonna be a lot of draft that you're gonna be feeling in your legs. But I love these because you can dress them up, you can dress them down. They look great with sneakers, they look great with blazers and they're just really gonna go with all the tops that I have in this capsule. I realized I love blazers so much because they are literally the cheat code for making it look like you tried in your outfit when really you didn't. To me, they are the ultimate way to amp up an outfit, especially a more casual one. It just automatically elevates the look. And if it does feel a bit too oversized, make sure you play around with that big slim skin element and yeah, it's just gonna look good. Black blazer goes with everything. All you really need is one. I have more than one, so don't listen to me about that. And finally, the last blazer is this mint green blazer. This is another oversized silhouette, um, but this one's really cool because you can take the button and you can wear it buttoned up in the front, or you can take the button and crisscross applesauce it across like that. So it just creates different options, different silhouettes if you wanna play around with it. I think it's, again, just gonna provide a nice big element to a lot of my outfits and I love the color. We love a pop. It's still very subtle and muted, but at the same time, I don't know, it's a really good green. Over the next few days, I'm gonna be going to work, I'm gonna be going to the grocery store, I'm gonna be going to the gym. Either I'm gonna be wearing my snow boots or I will probably bring these and change into them. But I actually really like these. I find they're a really nice slim element. They're made of leather. They're a quite soft leather, so they're really, really comfortable. And I, I think they look cool. I know a lot of people are now saying that they're kind of sick of them, but it took me like, two and a half years to 
get on the train and I decided I really like them. I needed a new pair of sneakers. So I don't know, I've been wearing them a lot. I really like them. So another way I like to incorporate slim into a lot of my outfits, especially because I like wearing oversized blazers and more wide leg trouser silhouettes, I like to bring a slim element back in with the shoes. So a nice pointed toe like that is a really easy way to do that. These boots provide a really good slim factor. They're really comfortable and I like that the heel is nice and low so it makes them really walkable. I love a high heel sometimes but not in the dead of winter. It's just a little bit too... That's like walking too much on the wild side for me. Okay, so now that I have my capsule wardrobe chosen, I'm going to enter my capsule into my index closet and see what kind of outfits I can come up with. So I've made 11 outfits out of the 10 items on my index app. So I'm gonna be using that as my guide as I get dressed during the week when I kind of wake up in the morning and if I feel like I'm just staring at the rail or if I feel like I'm repeating outfits over and over again, then I can turn to my wardrobe and just pull an outfit straight from there. And these look pretty fun. And so I'm gonna be vlogging this whole experience to see how this translates into everyday life, if I can incorporate the habit of using my app and using the outfits that I came up with ahead of time, seeing what kind of habits we can build, whatever I learned from this experience, and troubleshooting along the way. So leave me a comment down below and let me know if you're gonna be doing your own 10 by 10 and what your rules are. Should I count the t-shirt next time? Make sure you're subscribed. Thank you as always for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye.